Hey everyone, I am here today with a really long video on The Ordinary. I've been meaning to do this video for a very, very long time. I've been using The Ordinary products for years. My friend first introduced me to them. I slowly started trying a few of the products and now I've gone through a big part of their product line. I haven't tried everything, but I definitely have my favorites. So this video is going to be split up into three components. In the first part of this video, I'm gonna show you what products I currently have in my stash and what products I'm currently in the middle of using. Then we're gonna hop on to The Ordinary's website and I'm gonna go through their products and let you know exactly what I've tried and what I haven't tried. That's probably going to be the bulk of the video. And then in the last part of the video, I'm gonna show you what I purchased from The Ordinary. So this is going to be a very long video, but it's gonna be as long as it needs to be and I'll put timestamps down below so you can skip ahead if you would like to. Now I am not a scientist or a chemist or a skincare expert, I'm just gonna be sharing with you what works for me and I'm very intuitive when it comes to skincare products there are products that I just feel work better for me and I don't really have like scientific evidence I don't dig too deep into the ingredients I kind of know a little bit here and there but what I read I tend to forget and I just kind of gravitate towards the products that I like that I feel work for me so if you're looking for a more scientific video about the ingredients and specifically what works for what purpose then this is not the video for you. There are lots of videos on YouTube that delve into those sorts of details. This video is really going to be about what works for me and the way I shop and the way I pick out products. Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Let's talk about the products I'm currently using. The first category of products I'm gonna talk about are under the general bucket for me of serums. So these are the products that I put on in between my toner and then my oil and my moisturizer. So there are a few things that I typically layer in this category. I almost always use this product here. You guys will probably be very familiar with this as one of my favorites if you watch my videos. This is the Argeroline Solution 10%. I find this really helps with reducing the appearance of my fine lines and that's exactly what this product is meant to do. I used to use this twice a day, once in the morning and once in the evening, but I've switched up my routine a little bit lately and I'll talk about that a little bit when we get to acids. But this is still something I use every day currently just in the morning. And this little bottle lasts me about three or four months when I use it twice a day. So now that I'm only using it once a day, it should last around maybe like six or seven months. The other product that I really, really love is this product here, which is the Niacinamide 10 percent plus zinc one percent i'm not sure what it is about this product but it is um wonderful for me i find my skin looks really good when i use this product and again it's not like i ran some sort of scientific experiment on it or whatnot but i've been using this product for years and i really love to switch up the products in my general bucket of serums category so this is a product that i've used a bunch and i've switched out of and i've come back to and every time i come back to it i notice that my skin um, looks a bit better and i just really have um, an intuitive sense that this product works very well for me. So this is another one that I purchase on repeat, but right now I am using some Atomy products in the serum category. So I've set this aside for the time being and I'm going to try to use up those products before going back to The Ordinary. But The Ordinary is definitely my favorite for this general bucket of serums category. This product here is the Resveratrol 3% plus Ferulic Acid 3% and this is supposed to be an antioxidant. Once again, these are the three products I have in my serum category and I should mention that I do layer these products so I will always use the Argeroline in the morning and then some sort of product like the niacinamide right now I'm using an Atomy product and sometimes I will also use the um, antioxidant now let's move on to oils oils are some of my favorite products from the ordinary and again I use these after the toner after my serums category and then I get into oils 
So these are a couple of my favorite oils from The Ordinary and we'll go through and talk about which other ones I really like. But right now I am using the 100% plant-derived Hemi Squalane and it is a beautiful, very, very light and inexpensive oil. It's perfect for the summertime. Now that we're getting into fall, I do feel that it is a little bit light, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish it before I move to this one. This one here is the 100% plant-derived squalane and I find this one a bit heavier and a bit more moisturizing than the hemi squalane. So this is something that I'm going to be moving into as I finish up the hemi squalane and in the winter I'll be using this for the most part which is perfect for me. I love this product, very affordable and um, each bottle lasts me about three or four months if I'm not mistaken and I do use this product in the morning and in the evening. Now we're moving into the acids and the chemical exfoliator type category. This is the category I have the least experience with. I have tried a handful of products, but they're not products that um, I used to use every day. I found them a bit too harsh because I was just transitioning into them. This here is the Ordinary's toner, but I don't have this in a toner category because to me, this is an acid. It's um, quite strong for me to use every day, so I generally was using it every other day, but I've fallen off of that for a reason that I'll talk about in the next few minutes. But this is a product that I find for me is a bit too harsh to use every day, and I prefer a non-acid or non-alcohol based toner to use as my day-to-day -day as my toner bridging me into my serums. So I do still have... Um, maybe about a third of this bottle remaining and I will go ahead and finish it. It's just not something that I really gravitate towards. So it's not um, one of my favorites from The Ordinary, but I know a lot of people do love this toner. This product here is the reason that I haven't been using other chemical exfoliants or acids because I have started using this product, this lactic acid 5% plus hyaluronic acid. I use this every single night now. Previously, I was using this maybe like two to three times a week or every other day at the most and I'm not sure when I transitioned to starting to use this every day but I started noticing that my skin was tolerating it really well my skin was looking pretty good when I started using this more often so I just naturally started using this every day without really making that decision to use it every day so I am almost done. I only have one more application, so I'll be finishing this up tonight. And I do only use my acids and chemical exfoliators in the evening. This is a product that I'll be moving on to next. And this is the Lactic Acid 10% plus Hyaluronic Acid. And it is a stronger formulation. So we'll see how my skin reacts when I start using this. Perhaps when I start digging into this product, I'll only use it um, maybe like two or three times a week again until um, I know my skin won't react to the strong formulation and then perhaps I can transition to using it every day but um, we'll see. Now this is a product I have used before. It was called something different before. This is a retinoid. It was previously the Advanced Retinoid 2% and now it's called the Grand Active Retinoid 2% Emulsion. I kind of regret buying it now because I have the lactic acid, but um, I do have this product on hand. So when I go onto the website, you'll see that I won't be purchasing any acids or retinoids or vitamin C products, but those are all of the products that I currently have from The Ordinary. That's my stash. So let's go on to the website and do some shopping. Here we are on The Ordinary's website and I'm just gonna go through everything kind of like category by category and let you know what products I've tried and what products I haven't tried before. So there are a whole bunch of different guides on the website which I find incredibly helpful but it's kind of like I read about it, I learn it, and then I forget about it over time because there are such specific recommendations for each product. So what I typically do when I'm about to try a new product is um, I'll actually go to the product itself and look at um, the recommended uses and I'll also read the reviews and I'm pretty mindful of the reviews taking into consideration both positive and negative reviews. I find the user reviews are pretty helpful and um, I really like using that as a resource and there are a lot of them which is great. 
So each product on The Ordinary, of course, has the directions involved, but I don't always look up the directions when I'm about to use a product because of my own kind of like skincare regimen that I have with the toner, the serums, the oils, and then the moisturizers. So I'll basically just lump products into certain categories and I kind of know in my mind which products I should use and how often and which products I should use in the morning versus at night. So that I think will develop with time as you um, try products from The Ordinary and play with layering and look up the products that you've purchased and see in terms of the guide where they should fall in in terms of your skincare routine. Let's just jump right in to the antioxidants. I had mentioned that I have tried an antioxidant from The Ordinary before, and that is this product here, which I really, really actually love. So this is the EUK 134 0.1%, and I used to know what these things meant, what this um, compound was, but I've since forgotten. It's been a while since I've used this product because I have a whole bunch in my stash that I want to finish up before I go back to purchase saying this sort of thing from the ordinary. I also still have, of course, the resveratrol. And if I had to choose between the resveratrol and the EUK based on what I can remember from this product, I believe I would choose the EUK. This just is a product that I really enjoy. There's a new product here that I haven't tried before. I'm not quite sure how new it is. There are 109 reviews, so it can't be that that new, but I haven't tried this antioxidant yet, and I will um, be looking to try it in the future, depending on what the reviews say. It looks like it got like almost a nine, so um, I think this is a product I'd be interested in trying, and the price is great as well. I'm not gonna buy it this round, even though it is on sale. I don't know how to pronounce this, so I'm not gonna try it, but um, the directions say to apply alone or after water-based serums before oils or heavier creams. So that tells me that this would fit in very well with my serums category in the category where I typically use antioxidants, which is um, basically I would use the Argeroline solution on on my um, fine lines and then I would use a product like the niacinamide all over my face or another water-based serum and then I would use um, the resveratrol or the EUK. Moving on to the cleansers, I've not tried the Ordinary's cleanser. I don't plan to try this because I love my cleansing oils so right now I'm using the Atomy one. I also love the Tatcha one so I'm not too interested in cleansers and similar to that the colors family i'm not super interested in either i have tried the serum foundation and unfortunately i didn't like it i found it really oily and i also found it hard to match my skin tone even though i ended up purchasing three products mixing them i actually haven't been using foundation or bb cream in the past um, six months or so I have tried one of the Ordinary's primers and it is this one here, the one that's in the tube versus the dropper. This is the High Adherence Silicone Primer and I was okay about it. I didn't love it and I didn't really feel any sort of way about it. I did a video way back when on five products I no longer purchase and primer was one of those items, both face primer and eyeshadow primer. So that is basically it for the colors category. I don't see myself trying these products and I've talked about the ones that I've used before. Now getting into the acids. Now the acids category is still kind of the category that I'm least comfortable with and least comfortable talking about i would say this and like the retinoids and the vitamin c's are the ones that i have the least experience with i haven't tried this product or this product we talked about the toning solution we talked about um, these lactic acids here i haven't tried this product and i haven't tried either of the salicylic acids. So um, not too much information in this category. We've talked about everything already that I've had experience with. And to be quite honest, I don't really have an interest in trying any of these products aside from the lactic acids. I really loved this product here, the lactic acid 5%. So I'm curious to see if I will continue with this product or um, move on to the 10% like permanently 
They got similar reviews. I think it was like 8.4 was the average review for the lactic acid 5%. And then this one, the 10% has 8.6. But I may read these reviews in more detail a little bit later, the ones on the 10%, because I'll be trying that starting tomorrow. And I'm actually quite excited about that. I feel like I'm like graduating from the 5 to the 10%, but we'll see how my skin reacts. Hair care, I don't have a lot of experience with, but I do actually have this product. My friend bought it for me way back when, and um, I haven't been using it um, that frequently. I've kind of forgotten about it. So maybe I will start to use this again to see how it works with my hair because it is um, meant for hair density. And I would love to have kind of like more volume in my hair maybe density would help with that. So I do have this product, I've used it several times, but um, I need to be a bit more diligent with that. And again, it got decent reviews as most of the ordinary products do. The oils, this is one of my favorite categories. I've tried, I think, almost all the oils in this section. Actually, there are some new products that I haven't tried, so I'm pretty excited to be doing this video because I get to play on this website a little bit and um, see what there is. Now, let's just talk about which oils I've tried. I have tried the bee oil, the marula oil, the barrage seed oil I have tried as well, the Moroccan argan oil, have I tried that? I believe I would have tried this because I feel like this is a product that they've had for ages and ages and I most likely would have tried that. I've definitely tried this one. I've tried this one. I can't remember if I've tried the sea buckthorn oil. I love the hemisqualane and the squalane. My favorite oils are, of course, the hemisqualane for the summer. It's so light and moisturizing. I also love the squalane. I love the marula oil. So those are probably my top three oils. The bee oil, the brush seed oil, the chia seed oil, from what I can remember, I didn't enjoy the scent. And there were some reviews about the scent and I kind of ignored them and tried the oils anyway, but it turns out that the scent does bother me. The rosehip seed oil I'm okay about. That's another oil that I would probably buy again, but um, in terms of my favorites, it would definitely be the marula the hemisqualane, and the squalane. The sea buckthorn oil, I don't think I've tried, but I think there were a few reviews that might have put me off. It was either the scent or something else. Oh, this is what put me off. Um, it was the color and a review such as this. It, it wasn't this one because I read these reviews ages ago, so it was probably a similar review, but it says, yes, it may stain your sheets, and it also says it's um, orange. So I wasn't too crazy about that. And so I haven't tried this product yet. I also feel for the price, since I like um, the other oils just as well, I thought, you know what, I'll just stick with what I like. And I really, really love the marula oil and it's like quite a bit less expensive so why branch out and risk not liking it because i did branch out with some of these other oils and it turned out i didn't like the scent what is this product here don't remember seeing this one before but this looks like something that would be interesting to try so this is an amino acids product plus b5 which is a vitamin and this looks like it got great reviews so maybe this is something that i can um, look into trying down the road it looks like um like a hydration type product so it must be like the hyaluronic acid where it draws moisture into your skin perhaps the hyaluronic acid i have tried and i'm okay about this product it doesn't really um stand out to me in any sort of way but i feel like i may have been using it incorrectly i was using it in my serum step and i feel like maybe this would be a good product to mix in with your moisturizer so maybe this is a product I'll try again down the road. I do like that it has like vitamin B5 and hyaluronic acid is supposed to be great for um, drawing moisture into your skin. So maybe that's something that I need to look into more deeply down the road. And then this is the marine hyaluronics and I was really curious to try this. It looks fantastic. Ooh. Okay, so I will be trying this down the road, but... Um, 
Not quite yet, I don't think. Maybe I will get it. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so the natural moisturizing factors plus hyaluronic acid is their moisturizer. And I do really like this product, but it's not like holy grail status for me. The only issue I had with this product was that it was a bit too light for me for overnight. So I really love this as a day moisturizer, but not in the evening for me anyway. And maybe I will purchase this and mix this with the marine hyaluronics to amp up the moisture. I'm actually quite excited about that right now. Right now I'm using up a bunch of um, moisturizers from Atomy. So I won't be repurchasing this for some time. The more molecules section is a section that I have dabbled in quite a bit. I haven't tried the 100% niacinamide powder, but my friend is going to be trying it and um, she's going to let me know how she likes it. I did read up on it when they introduced this product and it sounds really intriguing, but it's just not something that I want to try right now. Hmm. Or should I try this now? Oh, I'm getting tempted now. This is the problem with um, online shopping is you kind of get curious about products, things pique your interest, and then they're on sale and they're like so reasonably priced that you're like, okay, maybe I'll just buy it. It's on sale. And then it just sits in your stash for years. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. So this product does look very interesting. There is a section here on contraindications. So this is a good place to um, look into what products you shouldn't mix together and what products don't work well together. It's a lot to keep track of, but um, again, like the more you read about it, the more you start trying products, the um, more kind of like intuitive it'll become and so it does become easier although at the beginning it is like super confusing because of all of the products and like a few contraindications and which products you should use when and etc etc i have used the alpha arbutin i I've only used it once and it didn't really make an impression on me so um, I don't really have a lot to say on that. The caffeine solution was a product that I really loved the idea of but um, it didn't work for me. I never noticed a difference with this product even though I probably went through two or three of these bottles and yeah there wasn't anything about it that really excited me so i stopped buying it this product we've already talked about it's one of my favorites from the ordinary and it's something that i plan to buy over and over again going forward once i finish what i have in my stash the peptides are a section that i'm like pretty into the argeroline solution is in here, which I love. The matrixel I love. I haven't used this in such a long time, but it's probably on par with the niacinamide. So I like to kind of like cycle through those. I'll use the matrixel for three months. And then once I use that up, I'll use the niacinamide for three months. The buffet solution was another product that's very similar to the caffeine product. I want to love this product. I want it to work for me but i haven't found that it has so even though this is one of their like signature products at the ordinary i haven't really found that it does anything special for my skin anyway beyond the matrixel and the niacinamide which are again my two favorites have i tried this product the buffet plus copper peptides one percent i feel like i have tried it once i probably bought it on sale and again i don't think it did anything for my skin beyond like the regular buffet um so this was probably a disappointment especially considering the price the retinoids i have not had a lot of experience with the only product here that i've tried is the gran active retinoid two percent emulsion and then they've reformulated a bunch of their retinols and retinoids to um, use a carrier oil and that is the squalane so i don't know a lot about this category so i'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on it sets is um self-explanatory it's just combinations of products so i'll go ahead and skip over that the sun care I haven't used at all yet. My friend has tried this product and she said it is a very thick sunscreen, but maybe this is something that, oh no, the reviews are pretty bad. Okay, I'm not gonna try this product. I was thinking, because I don't like my current sunscreen, I was thinking maybe I could try it myself, but um, looking at these reviews, 
I'm probably not gonna like it. Yeah, these are pretty bad reviews for The Ordinary, all things considered, because usually their products get like eight, between eight and nine is the average. Vitamin C is the last category, and I don't have much to say here because I haven't tried any of these products. Vitamin C is something that I haven't delved into at all. It's um, an antioxidant, and part of the reason that I haven't tried the vitamin C products is because there's a lot of like contraindications and things of that nature, and I haven't really wanted to... Um, delve into that i really like the products that i'm using and maybe down the road i will try some of these products but right now they're not really of interest to me so now let's go ahead and add some stuff to our cart i do definitely need the argerilene solution i'm on my last one i don't have any unopened ones in my stash so i think i will go ahead and purchase two of those assuming they last me well i might start using this product twice a day again because if i'm switching to the lactic acid 10 percent that means um i might phase that in and see what happens to my skin as it gets used to the stronger formulation of lactic acid so i will probably start using the argerilene solution twice a day a few times a week again so maybe I'll go through it a little bit more quickly. Maybe I'll use up a bottle in like four or five months. So if I purchase two and I have most of the bottle that I'm currently using, that will probably take me into next year. And then I can buy this product on sale again next year. I'm not going to buy any other items that I would typically use in the serum category simply because I have a lot of products not the ones that I showed you from the ordinary but I have some Atomy products that I'm testing out and um, I feel like those will last me a year until the next sale the other thing I want to buy is an oil oh I'm so tempted to buy the marine hyaluronics I'm gonna add it to my cart and see if um, I want to buy it later when I look at um, what I have in there. So right now I'm using the Hemi Squalane. I'm going to use that until it's all done. And then I'm going to switch to the Squalane. And that's great for like the rest of fall and winter leading into spring even. But then in the summer, I'm going to want the Hemi Squalane again. So I think I'm going to buy one of these. Just one. The price is amazing. It's like such a such good value for what you get and that might be it in terms of what i'm gonna buy during the sale so that i think is going to be it i'm not gonna buy the niacinamide powder i'm gonna wait for my friend to test it out and um, see what she says about it but maybe next year i'll be in the market for something like that thank you guys so much for shopping with me i'd love to hear down below what products you picked up if any from um the decium sale and you can even talk about like some of their other brands if you like um actually i do need a heavy cream to moisturize my hands and feet before going to bed so that would be awesome i don't know if i want the hand chemistry though i feel like i've used the hand chemistry product and i didn't love it i think i've tried the hand chemistry and the heel chemistry and they were okay oh i don't think i've tried this product extreme hydration concentrate got reasonable reviews maybe i'll try this product okay yeah i will try this product because i use this product before i go to bed i'm not like washing my hands after or whatnot um and i feel like this would be a good one to try i don't think i would use this during the day because i have um an atomy product a hand cream that i really love that i use for um to moisturize my hands during the day but it's really my hands and feet at night that i need something like very um moisturizing i do love the product that i'm currently using it's a cake product but this one is on sale and i might as well pick it up and try it so i've got five things in my cart i'm debating the marine hyaluronics though i don't feel like i need that right now okay i'm not gonna buy this right now i'm just gonna go with the 30 dollar cart I really don't want to add that many products to my stash, and I know for Decium, the free shipping is $25, so a $30 purchase is kind of perfect. And um, next year, I will 
delve deeper into a few new products by then my stash will be pretty dwindled down okay so that is truly it now for the shopping segment some instant gratification through the magic of youtube this is my parcel that i'm going to open with you guys right now let's see if i stuck to my um basket that i put together with you here we have the Hemi Squalane. We've got two of the Argeraline solutions. Some tissue. And finally, the Extreme Hydration Concentrate. That is indeed everything that I bought. We've just got a packing slip in here. I feel like I did really well with this sale. I mean, the sale's not over. I could go in and make another purchase, but I'm pretty happy with the products that I have and with the products in my stash as well. So I think I will just limit it to these products, even though the marine hyaluronics are still calling out to me. We'll see, maybe if I really like this product, yeah, maybe what I'll do is I'll try this product this weekend. It's Friday the 13th now. If I really like this product, maybe I'll stock up on a few of these and then I can add the marine hyaluronics to my cart as well and see if maybe I'll check out with it this time. That is going to be it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you watched it all the way through, wow, kudos to you. And even if you jumped around, thank you so much for your attention and for tuning in to parts of this video. If you're interested in my current skincare routine, I do have that up on my website, so I will link that down below. I update that about once a month if there are any changes, but right now I'm just like pretty status quo. I'm really happy with my routine and the products I'm using. I do have a few more products to get through before I'll be trying any new products from The Ordinary, but I am repurchasing my favorites because they are go-tos in my collection as I've talked about in this video. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I will be back very soon with another one. Until then, please take care and bye for now.